Hey guys, so like I said, I wanted to throw up a quick video to show off the uh, EOYO monitor with the Raspberry Pi ST Auto boot on the back. So I basically just took a Pi 3, stuck it to the back on the VESA mount. Um, this 12 inch EOYO monitor has all the same legacy inputs that the, uh, the widescreen version has. So we've got composite, uh, BNC, VGA, basically anything I'm ever going to want to hook up. Um, so it'll work great with STs and 8-bit uh, Ataris and Amigas and that sort of thing. Uh, if we click the Raspberry Pi on real quick. And monitor. So I kind of simplified the uh, Raspberry Pi boot sequence a little bit to get rid of a lot of the Linuxness about it, and made it a little bit more on brand. And it should boot us into this little cracked hoe boot selector that I wrote um, to pick between Atari ST, Amiga, and Windows. I have not installed Windows 3.11 yet. I've got DOSBox on there, but I haven't bothered with the install. So if we hit Atari, that should take us to an ST desktop. Get the memory checks and stuff. So that's going to boot up with a 230 meg C drive. Uh, that's where all the software lives. I haven't really added anything to the image yet, uh, but it's just a one gig image that I'll link so that you can pull it up. I was happy to see that the uh, mouse scroll wheel works by default, so that's good. But yeah, that'll boot us to a full desktop. Um, I'm probably going to try and install NeoDesk or something like that. Let me turn that down a little bit. And so the full jangly mess of ST sound and music is there. And the games play fine. Uh, the person that did the image has uh, patched a lot of games so that they'll play off of a hard drive. So a lot of these games weren't able to be installed to a disc before, now they can. And it works pretty much as you'd expect. And we can dump back to a desktop pretty quick. Uh, if we quit an emulator, it should take us back to our menu screen. We can pick another one. Uh, the Amiga one really is just a launcher. Um, I don't have any experience with Amiga desktops. I don't care about it. Um, Workbench baffles me. So I just want to be able to play the games because, like, let's be honest. Given the choice of ST or Amiga, this is just going to be smoother. It'll have better sound, so... Man enough to admit when I was wrong when I was a little kid. Of course, this is booting from disk images, so we've got to give it a little bit more time. It's actually even a little bit quicker. Maybe a little too quick. I don't know. But yeah, at the end of the day, uh, it works great. Auto boots, um, we can shut down from the menu script and I'll shut down the machine um, of course the next big trick
is the 130 so we can bring that up I'll bring us straight into uh, 9 or 20 49er there so it works great with uh, composite input <clears throat> HDMI input, VGA, I don't have anything that needs BNC, but yeah, so far so good. Um, I started with the RetroPie image, uh, just mainly because of their packaging and how easy they make it to change the splash screens and all that kind of stuff. Um, I also you know, moved their auto start script out of the way to make uh, my little boot menu. Um, so yeah, it's super easy to work with uh, RetroPie because they just package everything it's ready to go with uh, frame buffer or SDL so there's no dependencies on X windows or anything like that so yeah so far so good good chill here